Hello and welcome. Well, as you can see here, we have a map of the entire world and all of those pink squares, which are virtually at every coastline, are the areas which are covered by these, these charts, which is virtually every coastline and every waterway in the entire world. Choosing an area just to start with here that's familiar to most people is the uh, San Francisco area. And as I zoom in, you can see more and more charts appearing here as I pull into the Bay Area. Uh, there's the San Francisco Bay. And let's uh, just go over to Berkeley and have a look. As we zoom in, there's m maps that are stacked on top of each other, as you just saw there. And um, that's a marina in Berkeley that was uh, underneath other maps. So there's maps on top of maps. As you zoom in, they automatically load as you get tighter and tighter. And you can see there's a lot of maps within the, the, uh, the land masses, which are for lakes and rivers and so forth. Okay, let's just move over to the, uh, to the Caribbean here. And let's just pick a kind of... Um, let's just pick an island and have a look at it. Let's, okay, there's Antigua just north there. Let's, let's take a look at Antigua, which is kind of a small... Caribbean island and as you can see it's all charted out and as I zoom in tighter and tighter there's more and more detail um, it's a little slow with this computer I have to confess that uh, this is a 10 year old computer that's quite slow loading these charts okay now I've just uh, zoomed into a particular area here there's no harbor actually there but you can still see that it is charted the entire island is charted and uh, zooming back out yeah, this is an old computer that loads a little slow, so be patient. I'm also running the video capture software, which uh, hinders it even more. Okay, let's uh, shoot over to Europe, just to give you an example. Let's uh, go to Greece. And you can see, okay, there's a lot of um, islands there, obviously the Greek islands. Okay, here there are no charts showing. That doesn't mean there's no charts. That just means my computer hasn't loaded them yet. So give it a second, <laughs> hopefully a second, and, uh, and you'll see. Anyway, I wanted to tell everybody, there they are, and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of islands and a lot of detail there. This um, compilation consists of more than 28,000 maps and that's that's it's easy to say 28,000 we're used to saying millions and millions but when you actually have 28,000 maps that's incredible it's the entire world there's ev every part of the world is charted here with this uh, compilation and this compilation consists of both um, uh, vector charts and raster charts, which I will show you later, and I'll explain the difference also. Okay, I've just picked a harbor here. Actually, it's not a harbor, it's just... Uh, oh yeah, there it is. There's a little, little harbor. Okay, so this gives you an idea, and you can go to anywhere. I'm just picking these places at random. There's charts for everywhere. For example, if I went to the eastern seaboard of the United States, it's just astounding how many charts there are. There's literally thousands of charts just for a small area, you know, in upstate New York or whatever. Okay, besides all of the um, coastal charts that you've looked at so far, uh, this array of charts here um, also has rivers and lakes. And uh, basically all of the world's waterways are covered. Let's go into the Great Lakes here and just have a look just to give you an idea of what's available. There's Lake Erie, and as you can see, there's many, many charts. The program that I'm using that you're looking at right now is called OpenCPN, and it's a free program, and uh, it's great. It also has a Google Earth plugin, as you can see. You can actually capture Google Earth shots and then put them together with... Um, your your maps so you have another source of reference and as a final source of reference here we have the raster charts that are included in this uh, in this compilation and there's a about 120 raster charts which are 
what a raster chart is is a photograph of a paper chart so most people who have been in the the boating uh, world for a while have used paper charts so they're all familiar you should be most of you should be familiar with paper charts and um, these raster charts are paper charts that you can look at on your computer which is great you can pull them up easy you can find them easy they're all indexed and easy to find and you can zoom in you don't have to be rolling out paper you don't need to have a huge chart table or anything like that so basically um, it's nice to have these charts as well as another point of reference to go with the vector charts raster charts are a little bit different you know and they do have a lot of information that uh, that's very valuable here's the um, Central American coastline here and there's the Galapagos Islands uh, you can zoom in you know so it's basically just a paper chart that's been uh, digitized and like I said there's about hundred and twenty of these which is a nice supplement to the 28,000 <laughs> uh, vector charts in this compilation so let me just pull up another one here so you can see okay there's the uh, South China Sea I believe and and you can see a wealth of information in the chart well that's about it thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy trails